Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So before we start combat here today, um, I've taken another look at how I want to do the tactical map. Um, I wasn't quite happy with the way it was um, playing out, so I'm going to flip over here to After Effects and just show you what I'm kind of thinking of. Okay guys, so here we are in After Effects, and uh, as you can see what I've done is I've kind of uh, made the map as like a hex map. It, this kind of has more of a game feel to it, like a board game kind of feel to it. I think I kind of like this a little better. So we've got the Night Gaunts down here, the Dragon's Rejects here. We can grab, move these guys around, right? Then we've got the, our supply base here with... Um, oh, that's our Militia unit over at the other base. But uh, So our Urban Mech units here, First Static Defense Force. So whenever you're on a base, you just kind of... The icon stays, but the... Uh, uh, the unit counter disappears, so it just kind of shows that there's a supply base here with a unit in it. Same thing over here, this is where our militia unit is. Uh, first Ast first Ast Astrakhazi militia, they're setting up at a base over on the other side. Uh, so I'm thinking about doing the map kind of this way, just to kind of give everybody an idea of where the units are and what we're fighting. Um, and then of course we got anything in red is an enemy unit. Uh, these are all based on like, you know, lances, so, or, or like, for us, it's lances, right? Um, I was thinking about going the standard military counter uh, for these, but I not everybody knows what all the the, uh, the little dots and lines and things like that mean. So I just figured I just kind of go really obvious with it. So tank is like, you know, like a, a regular vehicle unit. Mech is like a, a is like a a mech lance. Question marks are obviously we know there's something there, but we have no idea what's there. You know, so I'm thinking about going this route. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, it wouldn't be every episode, or maybe it is, I don't know. Just a short, like, you know, one minute at the beginning of the uh, episode just to kind of show where the battle's taking place and what the units are doing and where they are. Um, yeah, you know, and, and I might end up, like, you know, putting, like, uh, dropship stuff in here. Now, the map is not that extensive detailed. It's it's like a Google Earth... Um, it's like a Google Earth overlay. So we've got... Oh, these are the hexes. Uh, so that's just like a paper texture, and then the terrain, right? It's our standard Astrakhazi map, uh, which you can kind of see here, right? Um, it's the location is where we were fighting, right? Uh, so that's where we landed. The, this was the uh, um, uh, northwestern, and this is the uh, southwestern warlords that we took on in the previous episodes. And currently the next warlord is on this side over here. So he's been pushing along this way. So uh, let me know what you think. If you kind of like, if you like it, I'll, I'll continue with this. I don't know. I like the idea of doing it this way. It has more of like a tactical game feel to me. And I wish, I uh, wish um, Battletech was more like this, where it's like, this is where you're fighting. And you got to kind of like, it kind of gives you objectives on the map to go and take. Uh, so that's kind of the feel I want to go for, for this. Uh, and that way we also too, we can have um, community collaborations on some of these. Now I'm trying to record five episodes on a weekend and then have them play throughout the week. Be but because we've got multiple units, it's kind of like they're all acting at the same time. So, you know, at the end of the week, if people have ideas of what they want to see, um, and as we're going along, right, uh, you can make some comments and then we can, you know, kind of have a collaboration kind of thing where okay well well let's let's move the uh dragons rejects into here to check this or maybe we better move them back and help defend the supply base or whatever right that kind of thing we'll have more targets on the map as things go on but uh right now like this is kind of our hq this is uh that that supply base that the uh, uh Irbies were, were defending against these were the units they were defending against and took out uh we've got a warehouse back here it's just like farm stuff and that and then a base over here so uh, this was the one from the uh, from the episode that you're about to see here. So, um, but yeah, so like the night guns. If we go to where they are, rather than clicking on the damn map, uh, I got to clean this up a little bit. It's kind of messy, but here we go. So we're gonna move them back here, and apologize for the. There we go. They've got to move back here this episode, so. Um, yeah, you get a chance to see that. Now, um, we're also going to limit movements and stuff too. Like, like this is a long way to go, but 
I mean, we've got dropships, right? We just pick them up and drop them back over here. But I want to limit the amount of dropship use we can do too, because if the enemies have dropships, the last thing you want to do is jeopardize your own dropship. So moving the units on the ground and having a stalemate in the air is probably the best way to do things. Plus you become more susceptible if using dropships to, to ground fire. But I mean, I guess it had to be, they had to be pretty close. But I mean, you could use like Thumper or whatever artillery from a distance to hit them too. So I guess, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let's get into the battle. Hey everybody. So we've sent the night guns to investigate something. Now behind our lines, um, right now we're, we've been doing some fighting with the Eastern Warlord. We haven't really found his main unit yet. Um, and that unit has been sort of capturing and inflicting a lot of damage. Now, uh, we have no idea what these battle mechs are, or what we were expecting. And then, um, a fair distance behind our, our lines, one of our civilian warehouses, which housed a lot of food that's been being produced in the area for the people here, just went completely dark. So we've sent the night guns back from the front just to have a look to see what the hell's going on. Um, we have a feeling that the main force is probably around here somewhere, so we're going to just kind of move in and find out what's going on. All of our hails have received um, no response, and there's no people in the country anywhere. We can't find anybody, so we're not exactly sure what's going on. So we're just going to move forward, check out the uh, supply depot here, and see if there's anything that can be done about uh, what's going on here. Um, so let's get uh, the Kit Fox is our main fire support. Let's back him up over here. Moving to position. And then the mislinks will go Talon right. Acknowledged. And we'll send the mongoose Talon right with the mislinks. Locking so they can support each other. Striker will move over with the griffin. And then we're gonna go ahead and move the hunter over here with the kid fox. Destroying these buildings as we go. Alright, it's all quiet still. Alright, we're on a hill here, right? Okay, so that we don't want to be on a hill with these guys. Alright, let's move down into here. The reason why I say that is because we're short range. These two, uh, the mech and vehicle are pretty much short range here. So, Kit Fox on the other hand, we're okay on the hill up here. Because it's our long range I boat. Miss Lynx. We're going to circle into the target zone. Moving to position. And the mongoose, same deal. And then the striker can come down here. A few dead bodies scattered around the base. Maybe there's something going on with inside here. Let's check it out. Alright. Could be bad. Aye. Now this is not really a bio lab. It's just a... It's a uh, a uh, provisioning warehouse, but we'll see what's happening. Move the hunter over here. Good to go. Top of the hill. The LRM-20. Alright, where do we need to move somewhere? Is there another place we need to go? Oh, wait. Down over here. Alright. So this is probably the processing plant. So let's go over and check out the warehouses then. Full sprint. Copy that. Let's get you guys. Um, let's not get caught behind this hill. Let's kind of go up this way. On the way. Okay. And the striker. And the hunter. We're going to get the Kit Fox and the Hunter up on the hill. We'll move the Griffin and the rest of the mechs this way. All right, Blade, you can go up. Let's go this way, guys. I'm walking here. We're going to use Shaka's Talon system here to go this way in a second. 10-4. I guess I should really call it the Zulu Talons, but it's the Impy Talons. So... We're going to put the Griffin and the Striker in the center. These guys will no technically be our reserves, the uh, Kit Fox and the Hunter, but 
not really on the battlefield. So we're going to move the miss links. What do you got? SRM2s, ER small. We're going to move you more on this side. You can keep going, right? Yeah. And then with our longer ranged ERs, we'll go on this side. On the move. And then striker up here. Move order received. So the ideas are the horns of the bull. I don't know if you guys know anything about Shaka Zulu. Well, I don't want to call him Shaka Zulu. That was the movie name, but Shaka of the Zulu. Um, I believe it was him that created the horns of the bull. On my way. And what the idea is, is you have two flankers, left and right. Left horn, Onward. right horn. And then the head of the bull is in the center. Which is what these two are. Roger. And then you've got your reserves at the back. Now, it used to be so bad, like the Zulu, so it used to be so... Um, I don't want to call them bloodthirsty, but they used to be so hyped for battle that he used to have to face his reserves away from the battle, not looking at the battle, because they used to get so psyched that if he didn't face them away from the battle, they would try to run in and fight. So let's get over here. Now, that's what I've read. Rolling. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, but that's what I've read. Uh, okay. Unidentified Battle Mech Lance. This base has been put under quarantine by Fire Mandrel. Leave this area now. So it looks like we've got some clan units here. You leave the taken into space. Leave or be forced out. You bet. You leave us no choice. Contain and control those mercs. We're not mercs. We own this place now. Here they come. See what we're up against. Oh, we got turrets. At least it looked like it was a turret. Maybe I'm wrong. So we've got an elemental toad, kit fox, salamander toad, a locust 2C. That's me. And there should be five. It's the clans. There should be five. So it looks like um, other clans have followed us here. All right, so we have to finish our movement, right? So let's get over here where they can't shoot us. I get you. On the move. Uh, we need to get some support in here, so we're going to move in this way. Location confirmed. The idea is to only expose the units I want to be shot at at the moment. So we're going to move... Um, It's going to be exposed no matter what. Let's put ourselves in a position where we threaten them. Yeah, so the horns of the bull. It worked, it, I mean, it worked fairly well um, in the tribal landscapes. Okay, so. I'm wondering if the Eastern Warlord has allied himself with these guys. So this is the Kit Fox C. Toads. Locust. So we want the Kit Fox. We want pieces from the Kit Fox. So shooting them in the back is a bad idea. Toads have got incendiary SRMs and flamers. And these toads have got SRMs and lasers. So these toads have to die fast because they've got better range and more damage than these guys do, I think. Locust 2C. A lot of good gear on this guy. All right. Um, Receiving you. I want to take that kit box down early, but it's a mistake if we want salvage. So let's go this way. Get a little bit of evasion. I think we're going after this locust. What do we got for chances to hit? Not that great. So let's deal up here. We're going to go with the rocket pack and just fire on this guy. Can we pend a little bit? Don't want to destroy too much of the clan gear. I don't know if these guys are after us specifically because we're deserters or if they've come here for another reason. Alright, we got these toads moving next. They're just trying to... Oh, we don't. Who's going next? Oh, the locust is. Look at the side pods on this thing. Pew pew. Fucking pew pew all you want, it's not gonna save your ass. 
We've got you surrounded. Okay, gatekeeper. Now I could I could try and shred this locust. What do we like on these toads here? Not that great. We've just got oh we've got inferno ammo too. Is it any better against the toads? Five damage? Six damage. I think we're better off just shooting this guy. Now he's taking good. We want to blow the torso off though. Can I? Ah, man. You know what? Let's bring him down. If we can. Is he unstable? Okay, he is. Now we're going to try and take his leg. Toadies. Waiting for orders. So here's the deal with elementals. There's no way we can take these guys captive. We got to kill them all. They're just not... Well, you know what? None of these guys are going to fight for us. Uh, I hate leaving that kit fox all by itself. Like, not going after it. Although, it's got two ballistic. I don't know what these are. What would these be? Pods, probably. A pods or B pods. So this is probably a close range guy. Probably, um... I'm guessing heavy lasers, medium heavy lasers, and the ballistics, maybe machine guns. I don't know. It's a tiff, it's a tough uh, it's a tough call. I'm gonna move in here. I'm going. Gonna get some uh, armor from the trees here. We're gonna go after this locust again. Now we've got pretty good chances to hit. We've also got bolt on incendiaries. I'm not going to use. We'll leave the barrage off. I don't have multi-target, unfortunately, but we're going to use the offensive push. We'll use up some, and we'll go after the leg here. Roger that. Okay, we've got the leg, it looks like. Did we get it? I think I hit something good. No, we did not. Waiting for orders. A lot of CT damage. Let's keep this Kit Fox um, Moving out. tied up on this side. We're just going to take some pot shots at him. Confirm. Oop. I saw what the weapons were there just a second ago. Three clan A. Oh, so it is the kind of a tip, typical kit fox layout with the three AMSs. This is weird. This is a two skull mission, just so you know. I don't know if it's going to end after we kill these guys, but. So three EMSs, ER large laser, small pulse laser. Two A pods tag. So the A pods would come under the white ones, and we have no idea what this last thing is. Alright. Okay. Waiting for orders. Order acknowledged. Hardcore, you know the score. Is that a turret? I thought I saw a turret here, but is this actually in play? I don't think it is. I wonder if we got a second round of fighting because there's another turret over here too. That's going to be interesting. Alright, we're going to go ahead and use some more uh, resolve. Going to go after this leg, turning the LRM off, just fire the twos. We may have gotten it. Did we get it? No, we did not. Upper leg destroyed. We didn't get it? With eight damage? Oh, we've almost got the leg. So the pilot's taken one injury. If he falls, he'll take two. Chance of him bailing out is probably pretty darn low. But if I have to, I'll move in for a melee attack and try and knock his ass over. Got me with the large. Okay, Marlin. Commander. You're on you're on anti tow Commander duty. Move. Anti thow duty. I mean, we could try and knock this guy over, but that's a lot of damage. Let's just go after these toadies. Base defenses are coming online. Okay, I figured it. Figured as much. Thumper, that's got to go fast. Jesus Christ, sniper turret with an AC2. So that's not bad. Is it just those two? 
Looks like it's just those two. So Thumper's got to go. I live to serve. Let's get that Thumper turret, man. On my way. Everything on this guy, please. I'm gonna drop the barrage in here too. Yeah, well, we missed. Damn, that was a huge miss. Wait, is that a turret over there? I'm out of short-range missiles. It is. It's a Goss emplacement, which means they have to have one more here somewhere. One, two, three. I don't see another one. Okay, three turrets. Is this a regular Goss rifle? Right? It just says bullet. Oh, I have no idea if it's a regular Goss rifle or not. Honestly, I think the thumpers are probably a bigger, bigger threat at the moment. Let's get down here. And we'll unload on this guy. Good chances to hit, dumping everything into it. Okay. So, they've only got three turrets. That's a bonus. Okay, slingshot. Um, you're a direct fire guy. We don't want you on those Gauss turrets. I don't want to shoot the Kid Fox in the back. Let's get over here. That's just an AC2 turret, so I'm not that worried about it. Let's get into here. Aye, aye. I want to go after the other leg on this Locust, I think. Hopefully these guys recognize the fact that we're not shooting to kill. I'm sure they'll hate us for that, but... Engaging. Start. Ready for orders. They'll probably be like, if you're going to fight, fight! Let's go after the Goss emplacement, see if we can take it out this turn. Laser's on, beautiful. Okay, that's good. We've still got two more vehicles that can go against this thing. Yeah, see, I'm not worried about those toadies. Order. Move a little bit. Get the... Well, we didn't get a Chevron of Evasion. Oh, well. Almost not worth moving then. They're forcing us to destroy our own resources, but we have no choice. These guys could be deadly. But you can see what I mean about these toadies, like... Starting an elemental playthrough, and with the movement like that, if you had to cross a huge battlefield, it would take forever to get across the battlefield. And I had four of them, and I was just jumping them continuously. It's just so painful. Ooh, you're meleeing. Okay. You can take that. Commander? Damn it. I want to go up to this locust, but I think the Goss emplacement is probably more important. We can eliminate this big gun. Should be fine. Yep. Then it's just the AC2 turret, which is not a big deal. Hopefully I can suck the toadies into the barrage, but I doubt it. I doubt it. This is just a straight up AC2, right? Yeah. Yep. Alright, who's up next? You were what, 14? So it's the Locust and then the turret. Locust is tr trying to figure things out. Contemplating what he's doing on this backwater world. Why do we come all the way across the galaxy to fight these guys? I'm gonna die here. Did that say 120? Couldn't have. AC2 turret. Oh, okay, firing at the hunter. We'll get the hunter on the tur on the turret, I think. We'll see, I don't know. Ready for orders. I'm 
I'm walking. Okay, you're the locust guy. See if we can take that leg, please. The more I OP this leg, the more we're hitting the CT, but let's just go with the, um, let's switch from Tandem to Inferno. How much has he got left here? A couple points, three. So all we need is a couple hits from the Infernos. There we go, right leg destroyed, he's going down. Beautiful. Oh, I bailed. You coward. Yes, Commander. No self-respecting clan pilot bails out of a fight. Who said I had any respect for myself? All right, move over here. I wonder if we should go after these toadies, fire suppress these toadies a little bit, or should we just kill this turret? The AC2 is not that big of a threat, I don't think. I think the toadies are a bit more. The Kit Fox, though, I mean, he's is he unstable? He's not. Oh, he is. Probably because of the melee attack. Well, we've got the OP power. Let's go for it. Let's go after his leg here. Maybe we get enough hits to knock his ass over. Giving him everything I've got. No. It's interesting that it says he's unstable yet. Yeah, fuck, damn it. Toadies are dangerous close in. God damn. Orders. Get on these friggin' toadies, please. <sighs> I was not expecting that. Got the drop on you, pal. Not sorry. Mm hmm Okay, Rose. Toadies, please. We want a back shot on these guys. Copy that, Commander. I'm I'm scared to get this close to them, but we have to. Well, what how are we doing here? Good crippling damage in the back. Let's hope let's hope we get a few more shots on them. Left torso gone. Left arm. That hit something so it's good. two toadies down. At least it should be, right? Yeah, two toadies down. Almost four. Okay. Barely hit, Commander. Mm, he's toasty, eh? Damage. Can you get behind these toadies, Marlin? I don't think that's a green line. That's behind, I think. Good to go. It's indirect, but we're gonna take it. I don't care what our chance to hit is. If we get lucky, we get lucky. Oh crap, really? I do kind of care a little bit what our chance is now. That's kind of really low. Shoot the turret. Alright. I don't think we can get away from these guys fast enough. Did he take our leg or was it just the arm? Jesus, he took everything. What is... Oh, it's the ammo that went. We lost two SRM, clan SRM6s. We better get some good gear out of this. Wow. That's not far enough. I'm pretty sure we're out of range here. Wait, now wait. That's our right side. So that's... I think we're okay here. Damn it. That's, that's a huge loss. Oh, the ammo I don't care about. We can always get more ammo. Uh, 
I'm your spaniel. Can you end these guys? Let's find out. Don't mind standing in the fire if we're gonna end these guys. Get the ER small on. Fire it all. Targeting enemy touch. Nope. This just in. Critical hit. He goes in 11 though, so we got lots of time to kill him. Damn, man. Ready to get it on. And here I was thinking, oh, this is like not that hard of a battle and blah 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 blah. Boy, was I mistaken. Affirmative. Do we just shoot these toadies, do you think? Hmm. Nope. Going after this guy. Come on. That's the toad. Get Fox. Here we go. Leg shot. Here it comes. Is that the leg? That was the arm. Damn it. A lot of gear went down with that. That hit something good. <sighs> Got something you want done? I do. Putting one in the back. Hard gel that, you fucker. Mech destroyed. So, the hard gel, they've changed things slightly with it. I think. I think you can still get the full hard gel armor, but they now have components for individual locations, so you can pick up hard gel and then stick it in a single location. So if you got a, a location that you want to make sure stays, you know, relatively good, like if you're running a hunchback, for instance, you want to make sure your right torso is safe, you can um, throw in a hard gel in that location. It's like one ton, I think. And just have it protect that location. Which I think is a great change. That, that's a good change. Confirmed. Not the best positioning. What's he at, leg-wise? It's not going to be a kill, but let's fire it all. Oh, leg gone. Have a seat, buddy. I got his torso, too, though. Oh, that means he's going to have two injuries when he goes down. Yes, Commander. I was hoping for more out of this battle, but... Moving out. Restricting our losses is what I'm at after right now. The toad, not that worried about, is far enough away from everybody. Damage is light. Once we start, once it tries to get close and we keep backing up, it's, it, it's not a damn thing I can do about it. Alright, let's move over here. Onward. And upward. Uh, if we get lucky and hit the head, it's game over for this guy. Excellent. One less target. All right, that, so that should give us, I think, up, two pieces of salvage. I think. Not a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure it's two. We should be able to kill this turret. Yep. All right, we just got the one guy left. That turret is gone. You got that Our right. Range All right, let's finish this guy off and get the hell out of here. Certainly this difficult to hit. Turret. That's for sure. The elementals. He says, and then hits them twice. Over the red line. Keep yeah, down. you won't be for very long. Relax. Unless these guys burn you up a little bit. Yep, they will. I just back up. All this heat. Who do we have left? Order. All right, Marlon, you don't even need to move. Fire and away. Yes, Commander. Uh, you should move. I think you're kind of in range. Acknowledged. Not 100%, but I think you kind of are. Acknowledged. 
Well, kind of sad that we lost those two SRMs. But hopefully we get some stuff out of this that we can kind of replace it with. The Kid Fox and Locust should have some half-decent stuff on them still. Because the pilots did bail out. Well, one pilot bailed, the other pilot got, got killed. Waiting for orders. Or, sorry, he didn't get killed, he got incapacitated. Alright, let's not uh, go crazy. Just cool off. They will be done. Ooh, that hit something good. Yeah. Yes, Commander. So, I'm interested to, to to hear what you guys think about. Wait, who's going? Commander. What you guys think about pilot bailouts? for clan members so like technically that guy the locust pilot bailed out so should I be able to hire a, another clan quote unquote clan pilot because that guy bailed That's going to hurt. I'm receiving you affirmative because we're disgraced and they're not right so Take this. is it considered like would they even Damage. Join us, you know what I mean? I don't know. Got something I'll leave done. it up to the uh, whim of the community if, we, if we're going to hire a clan pilot off Start that. Solid connection on that one. These guys can take a lot of go. damage. Heading out. Let's get over here. No matter where, where these guys move, nice they're going to get flanked. Yeah, one, oh, two pilots down. I think I hit something good. Panicking. Can we fire from here? We can. Let's not even move. Alright, another hit. I'm ready. These guys are in a bad position here. Locked on target. Take that. I'm here. Target locked. Come on, just a few hits. There we go. Panicking. Orders. Still panicking, apparently. Firing forward. Come on, bail. Right leg destroyed. Gone. So that should be two wounds? Fail to stand up. Okay. Receiving you. See if we can get a headshot. Unlikely, but you never know. Fire. Oh, CT destroyed. Oh well. Not much we can do about that. One more for the kill. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, that's not even going to cover our damages. So we lost the arm. No big deal. Small X pulse is a huge loss. Clan tag is a huge loss. Two SRM sixes and the SRM double is a lot. Is a big loss. SRM Inferno ammo, we didn't lose, but I don't know why I couldn't you Oh, maybe I wasn't... Oh, uh, I probably could have switched over and I never thought I could... Oh, uh, crap. Oh, well. That's my bad. We should be fine after that, though. These guys are okay. All right. Two Kit Fox pieces. And I should just take the two Locust pieces, but I'm thinking that we need weapons to replace what we lost here. Um... Uh, or we could just take this for C-Bills. I'm going to throw that in for now. Clan double heat sinks. Did I lose any? Uh, we're not getting much in replacement here. I should grab a clan double heat sink though. I don't know how many other... Well, we're going to get a fair number of other things out of this though. And there's not a lot here on the list. Regular Gauss Rifle. Ugh. Tough choice. I should take a guaranteed heat sink. Because we just don't have any. And if we lose one, this is a huge... Well, we'll probably get one in the roll, though. How much are these worth? Because we've got... Yeah, we've got one that we can't use because we don't have clan double heat sink. So let's grab a double heat sink. I think that's probably the best way to go. 
All right, so we got all of the parts, excellent. And we can go ahead and, here's the question, if we build the elementals, are we gonna be short gear for them? I don't know if I'll build an elemental, but I'm gonna hold on to it. Got a tag, got a 200 core, which we don't have yet, so let's hang on to it. Clan Pharaoh, an extra heat sink, standard fusion core. We'll keep one, get rid of the other, double AMS, which is all right. So we didn't get any other, other really good stuff down here, which is a huge pain. All right, um, I think I already know what I want to do with the uh, Welcome to the grease pit, Commander. with the Griffin. We should have. Um, I think we've got an ER large still. So if we repair this, we've got uh, six and a half tons of space. I think we have an ER large, don't we? A clan ER large, right? Which we can throw in the arm. And then we got a pirate large pulse laser too. Recoil of two. One evasion pip ignored. 20% jam chance mitigated by gunnery. Oof. Uh, God, really? Yeah, we do that, and then we're minus one ton clan double heat sink kit. Okay, so um, do we have any exchangers or anything? I don't think we do. No. Um... So I think we drop a couple of double heat sinks in. We split up the SRMs and then we do ammo. We don't have a half ton of SRM ammo. Is there a half ton in the store? Nope. Of course there isn't. Because why would there be? Um, so let's go ahead. Oh, I know what we'll do. Um, we'll put the regular SRM ammo in. Have Inferno ammo. Pull the medium laser out. And then go ahead with... Uh, where are you here? ER small. So our heat sinking is not the greatest. Well, it's actually not that bad. I mean, I guess it's a good compromise. We get some ranged ability. It's going to change our style of fighting, I think, a little bit, but I think it's probably okay. So let's go this route. Confirm this. 133,000. Wow. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. So I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later.